Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. And in this video, I'm going to bring you some suggestions of audiobooks to listen to. Look out for it fortnightly on a Thursday. When the library is open, you can of course come into the library to borrow books. But did you know that you can also download audiobooks using our free Libby app 24 seven? Simply download the Libby app, search for City of London Libraries and enter your library membership number and away you go. If you need help using the app, please take a look at the user guide videos on our YouTube channel using the link above. Audiobooks are a great way to experience books, especially in these times when we are all so short of free time as you can listen to them when you're doing something else. Today's audiobook suggestions are all about detectives. First up is Friday on My Mind by Nikki French. Frida Klein is the creation of husband and wife writing duo Nikki Gerard and Sean French. Frida works as a psychotherapist and often helps the police along with her band of trusted friends. Frida is a very complex character with a colourful past who is talented at solving crimes, but the latest case is exceptionally baffling. A bloated corpse is found in the River Thames, and at first the identity seems obvious, as there is a na name tag around the wrist bearing the name Dr F. Klein. However, Frida is very much alive, but after evidence comes to light linking her to the crime, she becomes the chief suspect, and she is unable to convince the police she is innocent. Frida has to make a bold decision in order to find out the truth before it is too late for her and her loved ones. There are several novels featuring Frida Klein and they can be read as a series or as standalone novels. My next suggestion is A Song for the Dark Times by Ian Rankin. Ian Rankin is a best-selling and incredibly popular Scottish novelist. His creation, Inspector Rebus, is a very flawed human character who drinks and smokes too much and whose personal life is a disaster. His saving grace is that he lives for his job and is a truly committed inspector. All of the Rebus books are set in Edinburgh and they are considered major contributions to the tartan noir genre. John Rebus has not been a good father. His job always comes first. So when he receives a call from his daughter asking for help, he knows it must be serious. Her husband is missing and Rebus believes she will become the prime suspect. He knows he needs to help, but how should he investigate, as a detective or a father? He leaves at dawn to drive to the windswept coast of Scotland, wondering what dark secrets he will find, and will he be digging up the past? A thoroughly absorbing detective novel. How about The Hanging Club by Tony Parsons? D.I. Max Wolfe is a tough man with a soft heart who will stop at nothing to get justice and protect those he loves. He is based in London and hunts down brutal serial killers by day and returns home to his young daughter Scout and their dog Stan by night. This latest case is no exception. A band of vigilante executioners roam London, abducting evil men and hanging them by the neck until they are dead. As the bodies pile up and riots erupt, D.I. Max Wolfe embarks on his most dangerous case yet, hunting killers who some believe are heroes. This is the third in the Max Wolfe series of books, many of which we have avail available. Enjoy them as a series or read them as standalone novels. They're all narrated by the excellent Colin Mace. My final audio book is Dead Tomorrow by Peter James. Roy Grace is a superintendent in Brighton CID. His wife Sandy disappeared 10 years ago and despite his best efforts, he has never been able to trace her. His life is now looking up as he is in love with Cleo and they are expecting a child. But the spectre of his missing wife will always hang over him. The latest case he is involved with is very grim a teenager's body is washed ashore on the Sussex coast and there are two equally grim discoveries to follow. 
At the same time, a girl lies in hospital waiting for a liver transplant. The NHS cannot help and her mother turns to other illegal sources to obtain an organ. When Grace begins to investigate, he uncovers a sinister network of child traffickers. And here, Peter James dispatches his wonderful level of suspense as the two elements of the story come together. Can Roy Grace prevent another child death? And how far will the distraught mother go to save the life of her daughter? If you want some further ideas for books to listen to featuring detectives or detective stories, you could try London's Glory by Christopher Fowler, Displaced by Barbara Nadell, The Burning Room by Michael Connolly, Devil's Bridge by Linda Fairstein. There are plenty to choose from. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next listen, even if it's a genre you've not thought of reading before. Delving into something new can be so absorbing and enlightening. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre or subject and availability or browse in the Libby app. If you prefer to read books, look out for my Librarian Recommends video on ebooks fortnightly on a Tuesday. Please do like this video if you have enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Your support and feedback is invaluable to us. Before I go, I would like to thank my colleague Sue for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Happy listening and see you soon. Bye.